All right. Hopefully this is working. Is it working? Everyone's still here. I can see. I can it's hear. Working. All right. Fantastic. I think it's working. Here we are. I think we're alive. <laughs> wow. We're wow. Back. Definitely uh, working. Definitely working for our, our guest. <laughs> well, we will we will introduce our, our special guest for the evening, but just to, just to get things started. Uh, this is the this is the finale of the suck. Uh, we've been off the air, if you will, for several months. I think May, the end of May, was our last episode, and uh, mm-hmm. back then we kind of all came to the the, the same uh, conclusion, if you will, that like, hey, this has been super fun, but like doing a weekly podcast, I think, has kind of run its course for us, and and we we really love doing it, but um, I think we all kind of felt like, hey, I think it's it's run its course. It was it was good while it yeah. lasted, and the suck has kind of come to a to a, a good run. And 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 to explain why why are we doing a finale now, uh, many months after our last episode in May, was because God, we love Kim. She came in and said. Well, no, it shouldn't. We shouldn't end it. This show is great. I want to keep doing it with you all. So Kim actually formulated a whole other version of the suck that we recorded. <laughs> I don't remember when yeah, we that were, was. We it, were we were working on. Yeah, we were trying to reformulate. Uh, and, you know, sometimes you, sometimes you can only use a you can only use a horse for one thing. <laughs> That's what they you say, know? right? <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, that one thing is illegal though <laughs> get your sketches on it's yeah <laughs> put your sketches on but appropriately, <laughs> but appropriately we had to we we said at the time that we thought well you know this has been a blast i think we all kind of feel like it's it's getting harder and harder to show up week after week and, and do a posters podcast because we're I mean, I'll be honest. It was an experiment to do a posters podcast. I think everybody here are amazing posters still to this day, posting bangers uh, all the time. And and it's just different posting and podcasting. They're not the same. And uh, I think everyone will continue to post. I think you'll see all of us online in one form or another. Not but... me. <laughs> okay, I, I'm, I'm sorry. I don't mean to assume, but uh, yeah, I think we did <laughs> want to get together for for one final send off, so we could, you know, uh, uh, just just you know, let the listeners know, like, hey, this was so much fun, and we love you all, and we didn't just disappear. I mean, we we knew it was kind of time to call it, and so here we are for one last Halloween special, <laughs> so, mm. sorta <laughs> thunder, thunder, thunder yeah. crash, lightning. Here we go. We got the, yeah, uh, I'll be I'll be as an outsider. Uh, I've always enjoyed your podcast. The experiment I feel was very enjoyable. Oh, thanks. You know, Thank you. It, it felt it felt cool to have voices added to the names that I see posting memes and being funny. It was real cool. Yeah, it was good. a good time. Yeah, and it can was. I, it was yeah. very good. We can all I grew just, so and, much through it can i just commend us too for having it last as long as it did because posters are not consistent people we did it for like two (laughs) years we did we did for two fucking years so even like uh being an adult like i i think about like having a band you know how hard it is to be oh yeah schedule band (laughs) practices and shows and all this stuff like it, I could see it being very similar to that. Like, absolutely, mm-hmm. yeah, being real no, rough for sure. Especially because we all do, we all do have to get in the same room for this every time, which is hard. <laughs> being in every different five, room. six workstations here, some of which are never, you know, attended. But it's I gotta crazy say, trying to make this room look like it's it's five or six different rooms. We really, we really do go through a lot. We rent that big house together. <laughs> in Iowa. Well, I do want to take the, the, this moment, since you're hearing a new voice with us, the, to welcome Henry Pissinger, legendary poster. Legend. The legend love, himself. Uh-oh. Also been known in the past as uh, mm-hmm. Galvano Escopatara. And, uh, mm-hmm. you know, often referenced on the show, but never often a guest. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah I'd be cheesing super hard when. I was referenced. I was like, "Oh, wow, I know that guy." <laughs> it definitely, yeah, it definitely happened. I think more than anyone else. Yeah, anyone else good? I mean, at least. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah He's yeah. right up there with Elon Musk. 
It's a great company. If you fed the transcripts <laughs> of the show into a an aggregator, Henry Pissinger would have been high on the list of mentioned names or yeah. posts or you know, uh, always hitting the topics that needed to be discussed by mm. the suck. So thanks yeah, thanks for joining us for this final episode. You're welcome. Yeah, also I've always uh had a passion for like triggering <laughs> Phil, like really trying to get under his skin with uh like gross stuff. So maybe yeah. it's <laughs> it's like a trauma thing he brings it up to. I don't know how you figured it out. I, so I'm fast. brought up. <laughs> yeah, you, you you do the uh, the toenail thing. The the what? I can't remember the chewing your your calluses and blisters and shit. I don't know. You oh just yeah, yeah. That out so fast. You know, you know, a hamsters gotta eat wood, right? <laughs> Dude. Hamsters gotta eat wood or its teeth grow yeah. up into its brain. <laughs> and you know, it's like that for feet. You, you, your feet you just keep <laughs> growing if you don't do feet on them. Will eat themselves so, alive. Mm -hmm. Ugh, so nasty. You can't trust them. You can't trust them. <laughs> well, I gotta but, say, shout out to all the. I had a couple people like reach out and like, hey, what's going on? Like, why is there no episodes that suck? And I was like, holy shit, people listen to this. <laughs> it was a very pleasant surprise you know because we put a lot of put a lot of love into it yeah yeah, yeah. 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 and a lot of, i mean a lot of hate too honestly. a lot more hate uh, uh, arguably uh, yeah. an exhausting amount of hate <laughs> yeah. can't keep up with it this is our hate outlet yeah. it was a healthy conduit to hate you know, it, it created joy for other people. So the stuff that sucked. Yeah. Talking about without, something that sucked. Without this, without this outlet, I, I might have actually murdered Sean Ten. <laughs> <laughs> I think it would have happened in Minecraft. You'd have right? you'd have the CIA after you for that. I think so. <laughs> I'm pretty sure the CIA for Sean Ten. Of course, yeah, absolutely, absolutely. Ashton Kutcher, CIA, Sean Ten. <laughs> Uh, who else? Who are you? <laughs> who else? Well, there's actually a whole other layer of this and and the reason why we are ending the show and why henry pissinger is here with us is because uh we actually all died like i all the hosts of the show we actually all had very unfortunate circumstances befall we're us. dead folks uh yeah we are yeah. we all died um we're it's dead. weird but it is a Halloween episode, so appropriately we were able to be summoned uh, via Ouija board. In the outfits we were wearing at the time, of course. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. We, yeah. We're, we're, just we're using the Ouija app. The Ouija <laughs> app. <laughs> the Ouija <laughs> app. <laughs> Who's not sponsoring the episode. Right. <laughs> yes, we, we lost all sponsorships yeah. long ago. Um, <laughs> unfortunately. Yeah, it's, it's, it's weird how if you die, that happens to you pretty pretty quickly i think a lot quicker than if you like you know if, if there's like allegations against you of you know, abuse or you know you get caught saying slurs or whatever if you die you just immediately lose all your sponsors it's really quite fascinating mm -hmm. how quickly it happens it's really the worst part of dying honestly the rest of it is great yeah yeah well we didn't fess up to it because our Patreon is still going strong. So <laughs> we've been riding that post-death Patreon for a few months. Wait, uh, is it? Is it? <laughs> are people still like paying for our Patreon? I think yeah. I think there's some out there that are still paying. So thank you all for thanks, for your guys. Support. And this is our official uh, statement that you know, please by all means cancel your subscription now <laughs> yeah. we, we love you, and all of us are getting like something like eight dollars every three months from you and we really appreciate it's, that but you can, which, you can stop oh, now. you can stop i'll make but or you can keep i'll make you something don't worry about it i'll send you something <laughs> but uh henry is actually here to help you know mm. uh guide us into the afterlife through this final episode uh, most of us don't actually know how we die because it happens so suddenly uh, that, yeah. you know, it just uh, you, you're just here one minute and you're not the next. And uh, but luckily, as a major fan of the show, Henry was keeping track of all of us. And I'd mm -hmm. love to know, how did we go? Uh, Henry? What the hell happened to us? All right. Yeah. Well, let me just snap my fingers and then 
Phil will add spooky music in post. <laughs> I don't know. I can hear it. I, I have brought you here for the music. And we <laughs> practice your feet with your daisy. That was stolen. So sweet. <laughs> hold, on, hold on. Before you go on for too long, I feel like your character voice and your noise canceling microphone are, are <laughs> canceling <laughs> each other out. <laughs> really, they're right, really right, at right. odds with each you're other. Too good at it, man. <laughs> all right. Okay. I couldn't hear most of what you were saying once you started doing the voice. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh God, I'm so sorry. I'll use my customer service voice. Yeah, there we go. Right. Thank you. <laughs> Hi, tonight we <laughs> will be recounting how the the host of the Suck podcast tragically passed away. Mm. Press one for English. <laughs> Press two for demon language. <laughs> All right. So we have found out. First off, tonight, the tragic passing of Bill Bucket, famously named after what a bucket gets happens to a bucket. It gets filled. <laughs> Bill. Yeah, so it turns out that Phil was going for skiing lessons, right? You know, a little bit of outdoor activity. Uh-huh. Unfortunately, he signed up with an AI skiing instructor. Oh. Oh, Classic Phil. mistake. That's so appropriate yeah. for me. I mean, yeah. Yeah. You always have to experiment to sort of find the weaknesses. And... Sounds like he you found know, a weakness. Okay. This all tracks because yeah. even though I've lived in Colorado for 13 years, I think, I, I've never done any snow sports and it was probably past time for me uh and i unfortunately also i got way too into ai before i died i was like a real you know proponent mm-hmm. for it so it makes sense that my dumb ass would take an ai ski lesson i uh i hope it was fun i don't know like if i did a sunny bono or what but uh you know <laughs> but yeah that's that, yeah. that kind of sucks i mean i should have waited boner. a few years for the the ski yeah. GPT to improve. <laughs> <laughs> all the all the zoomers at the funeral were alienated by the Sonny Bono joke. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. They were scrolling. Nothing, nothing not funny about a Sonny Boner, though. It really <laughs> works. <laughs> I, I feel like, yeah, I probably alienated everyone at the same time just mm-hmm. by dying via AI that people just didn't support me because they're like, yeah, that's the, what you get, fucker. You, if anybody you was going to. AI, you, you deserve to that's die. That's true, yeah. It's true. Oh. If, you do, if you do anything, you, <laughs> you, deserve, AI, you deserve the ultimate consequence. Yes, exactly. All those AI images I generated... I made my own bed, you know. Yep, yep, yep. They they papered. They used they used it. They used those images, printouts of the images. Ironically, <laughs> my, that's not ironic. My but they they, they lined your yeah <laughs> yeah. And then my oh no, how would I go? Uh-oh. Oh, oh my gosh! Yeah, so. <laughs> Knives was walking down the street in the city, and there was a PBR can. Oh. Right, it was irresistible. I can't help myself. You, know, you, you <laughs> can't. You can't. It's like, and there was tons of cigarette butts in there. Again, you know, I can't help after, myself. <laughs> you did. It's like free <laughs> cigarettes too, <laughs> but it was. It, it wasn't like one that was just like a half a day old, which is fine. That's mm-hmm. fine. This one was like <laughs> seven months totally old. Fine. Everybody knows oh, that. God. Oh Jesus! Yeah, it, it fermented, Jesus. and 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 I I drank it on purpose, and I, I guess I just I passed I I passed out, and mm-hmm. then I I passed away. Is is that kind of the story there? 
<laughs> yeah. Kind of like when Matt got Legionnaire's disease from <laughs> drinking out of a. He told you that story too? It was on the show at one point. I swear. Oh, I thought it, I thought that was like a secret fun story that he just told me. No, I, I swear we could probably go find the <laughs> super super fun story of me getting Legionnaire's disease as a child for, for drinking well, a thermos that was sitting out in the sun for like three months. Well, it's how I died. Special I learned, connection. I learned no lessons from the tale that you told I me. Tried so. to warn you. Rest Are we in not? Peace. Rest have you ever done me. that? Have you ever drank yeah, from you know the 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 beer that's left over with all the yes, in it? it's fucked me up. Too. Yeah, yeah. Everybody, I think the listeners are like when I said that they tasted it. They yeah. tasted it yeah. in their mouth. They're yeah, like, oh yeah. yeah. Well, there was oh, one time. That. There was one time I was at a party and I was drinking <laughs> a beer that was like from the night before, and it was like mostly full. And I was like, oh my god, they left this like full beer. And I was drinking and I got towards the bottom. And like, as I was taking the last sip, I felt the cigarette hit my lips. And I was like, so honestly. That's some high quality beer. You could even tell. (laughs) No, it was was Michelob light. I just. (laughs) Uh, (laughs) Jesus fucking Christ. Yeah. Right. The beer that tastes exactly like cigarette butt. Yeah. You're like, when did Michelob start doing IPAs? Because this is, this is seasoned. (laughs) Yeah, it's Michelob like you smell the cigarette butt, and then you smell it, and you <laughs> shake the can like, ding, 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 and you hear it. <laughs> as, as long as it wasn't a cockroach, I guess I'd rather take a, a cigarette butt. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's. Yeah. It could yeah, be way worse, cockroach. honestly. It could be like a spit, like a, a dip spit cup. That's that would be. Oh, oh that's yeah. horrible. Can, like you take a big <laughs> ass swig. <laughs> oh lord. I haven't. I haven't yeah. experienced that one. It's bad. Oh my gosh. Yeah. My brother used to leave those around all the time when I was growing up. He was a, yeah. He was some a Memphis kid. shit right there. <laughs> <laughs> dipping in, dipping in the buck house. <laughs> Rest in peace, Knives and McGee. Project oh. Bat. Rest, Rest in peace, peace. me. Right. Very appropriate death, though. I <laughs> Didn't know you could mm-hmm. die from that. It's, it's just seven it's seven months old that's old like that's that's old enough to give birth to a premature pvr <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. Hello. it's a mickey's jason is not with us right unfortunately there. even his spirit could not be mm-hmm. summoned it must have been very bad well can you tell yeah. us what happened to jason cantu what what oh, happened to party he, died, six, he six, died six. off screen. <laughs> he died off screen. Of course. You know, but that happens. You know, mate. <laughs> yeah, Jason was at... He was at a, a Marvel Cinematic Universe themed orgy. <laughs> <laughs> like, a, like a swingers thing for people who sure. like Funko Pops. <laughs> and that's yeah. fine. I... I'm down. It's 2024. <laughs> People could do whatever they want, right? He was getting but... Funko topped, actually. Oh my god, <laughs> man! <laughs> nice. Uh, but you know, linoleum floors and mm. like lots of slippery surfaces. It was a head contusion. Mm. Uh, slip and fall on a uh, a Green Lantern condom <laughs> on the floor, glow in the dark. Bucky Barnes yeah. themed condom. Mm-hmm. His kryptonite Famous a condom. <laughs> yeah. This is, this is going to be a new excuse guys are using. I'm sorry, I can't wear a condom. I might slip and die. You know? I could die. I'm Green Lantern. Is it, is it yellow? I can't I can't put that on. <laughs> Condoms might protect us from pregnancy, but it won't protect me from uncertain death. <laughs> Lubricated. Well, rest in peace, Jason. We you will be missed. Uh it's a damn shame you would uh, slip Jason. on a DC uh, comic at an yeah. MCU orgy. That's just <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It smells fishy to me. Yeah, that's you know. Yeah. 
That was your first mistake. I, I bet. Yeah, I bet it. I bet it smelled crazy. Mm. <laughs> Honestly, so, I'm sorry. I, it's fine. Like, like, I can reset. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Well, there's only two left. Uh, t- did any of us go uh, more glamorously than the previous ones, or uh, peacefully? Yeah. Peacefully. Yeah. Yeah. Willow. Willow was on a world tour. Oh, nice! Right when this happened, very glamorous. Yeah, naturally, it was really great. And uh, Willow was talking to someone at the bar, and they were they were really hitting it off. Unfortunately, it was a Decemberist fan, <laughs> which every oh. as we all know, they're cannibals. <laughs> they're, like you can't go home with someone who listens to the Decemberist. Because they're most likely a serial killer, and it turns out, yes, and they consume the flesh <laughs> like a moth to the flame every or time. Willow, mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. if if you go over someone's house and and they kick the December CDs under the bed, you know, so you don't see them. That should have been my first. Over. Yeah, that should have been my first sign. You got classic. A, very sad. Yeah. Well, I'm yeah, proud at least one of us could, could serve a, a, as a delicious dish for, you know, mm-hmm. your, your final meal. That is, is, that is a subject. Yeah, that is a subject we brought up on the show at least once, you know, the, we did? the, the, the meat that, that the, you know, the fake meat that I believe is being gener- supposedly being generated from celebrity cells. Yeah. Um, oh, oh. And it, yeah, it's weird. He actually told me he could give me get me a hookup with them. So he, he was kind of. I I fucked up. I really should have. He thought he was yeah. one of the good ones, but nope. Yeah. Nope. That will Never. be uh, our our final line of merch from the suck. Uh, <laughs> will be meat generated from our you know remaining <laughs> stem cells that were, they were able to harvest. <laughs> Fill me, yeah. n- knives me, willow me. Uh, yeah. Even even Kim and Justine meet. It will be in the store. Like, mm-hmm. All kinds yeah, of yeah. Got a sausage with all of us I, I in it. A... <laughs> yeah. Oh God. It's it's artificial. It's artificial. Kim and artificial Justine. We do need to be really. <laughs> And you know this is this is the humane way to consume us versus the way that Willow went. Now you know I don't I don't I think it was against your will I I gather, but maybe you were into it. I don't know. Uh, Not 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 if I if I'm gonna be eaten, it's not by this (laughs) a Radiohead fan. I, no, not I by a Radiohead like, fan, not by a Decemberist fan. It's only like it's just disrespectful you know, to be eaten by a Decemberist fan. Yeah, exactly. It's got to be a real like atmospheric black metal enthusiast or something. You know, if they can, if you can convince me that it's for, you know, that it has something to do with the new wolves in the throne room or something. I guess like, <laughs> be fine. <laughs> it's fine. Oh, I was also thinking like uh like uh, oh someone like someone who really is into shoegaze crossing the street. Like they're just looking at their shoes they get hit by a car. <laughs> yeah. You're looking you're not looking way. both ways. No. You're looking one way. <laughs> <laughs> oh, at the shoes. That was death by dad joke right there. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, that leaves only one standing. Mm-hmm. Matt, I got to know. I'm sure it was uh, Grizzly. Uh, no, I, I can't talk about it. You have oh. to. You have to. No, no. Is it leaving him out? like an NDA kind of a thing or like? It, it's a weird situation. It, uh, <laughs> How do you know? It sucks. I really yeah, like that guy. The vibes, um, yeah. As I was passing over, it, it, the vibes were off. You know, <laughs> felt like an NDA situation. Uh-huh. It was La Cosa, La Cosa Nostra. Oh yeah. Well, mm-hmm. I couldn't help myself. That makes sense. Mafia related. It, it makes sense now why you had to move out of New York City 
probably be the game uh, very rapidly yeah. wrapped up in some mafia business. And uh, they still different. found me. Way too yeah. Italian. Uh, said a lot of things on the podcast <laughs> that I'm sure you know were not good for <laughs> for your Mocking reputation. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> Speaking bad about Columbus Day and all that. <laughs> Didn't fly. <laughs> Didn't fly. Anti-Italian discrimination is taken very seriously mm. by La Cosa Nostra. So, mm-hmm. yeah, racketeering, you know, whatever that is. I don't know, <laughs> I don't know what racketeering is. It's kind of. Poetic, I mean, that's though. what I say in court. I don't know what racketeering is. <laughs> I don't even is. know what it is. How can I do it? I don't even know what that is. What is that? <laughs> Bootlegging, racketeering, oh. skullduggery, you name it. Mm-hmm. Matt, I love that jacket, by the way. I'm going to take you. that off your corpse. It's a- <laughs> Please, if you can find it. It's in Is one it- of these rivers. <laughs> Is, uh, did, you, did you have a costume going on? Like, I, I apologize, I have to ask, but like, the coat is so cool. Mm. Like, what, it, what is it for? I, I like didn't have much of an idea. I know a- Ashley was like getting dressed up, and I was like, I was like, oh, maybe I can put something together. And I was like, and then I just looked in my closet, and I was like, I thrifted this beautiful teal members only, like genuine members only jacket, and it fits me perfectly. Like I landed it. It was and it was cheap. I thrifted it, and I was like, I have not worn this yet. I'm wearing it for this. So my whole thing, you know, I'm, I'm going as like a synth wave guy. You know, no. <laughs> It's really just an excuse to wear this fucking jacket, though. Nice. Yeah, I had a members only jacket once. So I miss it. Yeah, no, nah. I had one in like the uh, mid two thousands when it was like really, you know, indie sleaze. You know, uh, I was all about oh, it. Oh yeah. But this is so much better than the other one I had. This this mm-hmm. one's fucking teal. It's gorgeous. It it's is. a lovely color. Yeah. It is. It's beautiful. We love it. Well, I'm glad we could go out on a, a semi Halloween theme episode. I mean, I I, mm-hmm. I kind of thought maybe we could do it, but then yeah, Halloween like, is I, all about death. I came straight from work and I wasn't going to do it until I saw Ashley in the devil horns, and I was like, I have Aww. devil horns. So we all kind of, you know, we kind of hit the Halloween note. Yeah, Willow's some got of my the favorite ears episodes. Too. Oh wait, I guess no. I guess I should take off my costume. There we go. Or no, I guess I should put on my co- shit. Oh. Sorry, take two. <laughs> I guess I should put on my costume. <laughs> hey. We're all white yeah. devils Bill, here. Bill. <laughs> In well, what does it say on your shirt? Bill. Cigarette Subaru lesbian. Oh, <laughs> okay. Beautiful. Yes. They're, they're, they're a poster. They're a poster on uh, on Blue Sky. And this is this is merch. Oh, nice. That I bought. They're they're a great person. Well, I I, do want to tell you, I know maybe they're probably ubiquitous everywhere, but like in North Carolina, cigarette Subaru lesbian is like a very common type of lesbian. Yeah, yeah. I was say in Colorado. Yeah. And that's the thing is I don't want to, I don't want to, like, I always feel like I need to explain this to people. I'm like, this isn't me. Like, <laughs> I just support cigarette Subaru lesbians I, everywhere. Don't, don't think that I think I can get away with being a cigarette Subaru lesbian. That's <laughs> You're many things, I, but come I, on. I, no, it's a high no, it's an ourselves. It's a high You're not that kind of lesbian. One of these, I'm only one yeah, of these three, three things, and that's not going to change. Probably, <laughs> we'll see. Yeah, I think that's a expensive car too, right? <laughs> Super. <laughs> they give you a discount yeah. if you're a lesbian. Yeah, totally. <laughs> right. <depends. laughs> We yeah. saw we saw I've been Subaru many times. We saw a Subaru here the other day, and it had a lesbian flag on it, and I was like, dude, that's kind of redundant. Did. Yeah, I've seen a few of them. Yeah. <laughs> that one was, yeah. Subaru is an exterior. I wonder how that. many. I wonder how many lesbians there are with Subaru flags on them, though. <laughs> <laughs> with Subaru logos. At least on them. one I would, on the back. I would love that so much. It's like on the I back of the neck absolutely. or something, or no, behind the ear. That's exact what it is. I'll put, I'd put the I'll Subaru. Put a Subaru logo behind my ear. <laughs> All right, everyone. Well, uh, I guess this is the point that now that we're all dead, we can say uh, it was a it was a wonderful life uh, to, to share in a podcast with you all. We we had a great time. I mean, I don't think I'll rule it out that we'll ever you know that we'll never do a podcast together again. I will take this moment. I've been wanting to plug. I've got a new podcast in the works called 
admin yeah. reveal that will hopefully be coming in the next month or two. But it's with a bunch oh. of my Illuminati uh, uh, yeah. meme page admin people. We we've been wanting to start something to just talk about what happens behind the scenes of these meme pages. A lot mm-hmm. of you know, I always like to talk about the shop talk, the drama that goes on behind meme pages like and it has been fucking ripe the past few weeks or the past few months we've had pages taken down demonetized pages have come back from the dead you know i got just got my walmart fake walmart account back walmart after but the, like the, five, the og one on ig uh on instagram the og one i got it back yeah <laughs> what the so fuck that's defunct for a while right like five months yeah that's like, crazy yeah. that's crazy i thought anyway, that was like dead dead short, I, we got a new podcast in the works. I wanted to let the listeners know, like, look out for that. I don't know that it'll come out for, it may not even come out this year, maybe 2025, but th- there's more oh, in yeah. the works. And, you know, you know, I'm going to be bugging y'all to come be on that. So oh, we'll probably yeah. be all back together at some point or another. All of us, I'm talking, including you, Henry Pissinger. Mm. So, uh, yeah. Um, <laughs> but yeah, with that being said, yeah. I mean, it, would anybody, <laughs> w- would y'all like to have some final words for the listeners? It's been I, an absolute honor. Mm-hmm. Honor? Yes. I I hardly know her. Yeah, it's it's I it's been fun, you guys. This podcast got me a husband, so you can all go away now. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Follow your dreams. Oh, we love to see it. Do it. Yeah, I always start podcasts with people unless unless you don't want to. Yeah, I mm-hmm. love you. That's podcasts my, my, work, my you know, but they're fun. Yeah, yeah, they are work for sure. But they are yeah. they're. I mean, th- th- an excuse that I always used to joke about, like, hey, they, I just do the podcast because you are my only friends. But like, realistically, like the timeline of this podcast from. You know, when the pandemic started, I got heavily into doing all the Chill Neil stuff, did the Chill Neil show, changed, you know, from that to doing the suck and, you know, kind of full circle where I'm at right now. Like, I, I don't have any podcasts. I left my job where I was doing podcasts every day. I don't I don't work there anymore. I'm back at the eye doctor's office, which is where I was at before I started doing all the Chill Neil shit. So it's like a weird full circle moment right now that mm-hmm. this is the last episode. So, uh, you know. I'm glad we got to do this because it was a really cool couple of years we spent making funny, stupid shit together, and mm-hmm. it was great. I loved it. So it was just I great hanging was- out with you guys. It was a great excuse yeah. to 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 hang out with my buds. Yeah, I love you all so much. Yeah, yeah for sure. Yeah, love you too. I love you guys. I love you. And that goes out to all the listeners too. Thanks for being with us all these yeah, years. Yeah, thank you so much, guys. Seriously. Yeah. And we'll you know, we'll be out there. We'll be posting. We'll see you all out there wherever. Amen. All right, y'all. Good night. Bye-bye. Bye. 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 Bye.